Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.34 from the chapter number 3. Okay, the problem is using continuous assignments. That means we have to write continuous assignment. Okay, I write a very log description of the circuit specified by the following Boolean function. Okay, we are given with three Boolean functions, output 1, output 2, and output 3. So here we can see that we have the inputs A, B, C, D. Okay, we have four input variables and we have to write the very log description of the circuit represented by these equations. We can write the Verilog description without drawing the circuit also. So first of all, as, as usual, we will write module probe underscore. This is 3.34. We have to write as probe underscore 3 underscore 34. Okay. And within bracket, we have to write the outputs and inputs. So out underscore 1, out underscore 2, and out underscore 3. Okay. Comma. These are the outputs and a b c d these are the inputs we have to define the outputs and we have to write the outputs and the outputs are out one out two and out three okay and what are the inputs inputs are a b c and d okay these are the inputs and then we have to assign some wires because in these equations we can see that there are some complements okay a complement is there b complement is there c complement is there as well as d complement is there okay so we have to write all the complements so we will assign some wires wire a bar b bar c bar and d bar these are the wires we have defined here so we will write assign a bar equal to complement of a that means complemented or inverted a will be stored in a bar similarly inverted b will be stored in the b bar okay c bar will contain the c complement and d bar will contain d complement then we have to write the codes so in the equation what we have in the equation we have c plus b that means it is the order representation okay so we have to write c or b and we have to then multiply it here we have to write and okay and we have then we have to within bracket we have to write a complement that means a bar or d bracket close then and b bar we have written here you can see c or b whole into and means here we have to write and because we have multiplication here okay then we have within bracket a bar plus d okay so a bar or d then we have and this is the multiplication so n function we have to write and so we have to use and here okay and b bar so and b bar again we have to write assign out to we have to see c b bar okay c and b bar because it is multiplication okay then we have multiplication of a b and c so we'll write a and b and c okay then we'll write c bar b so we'll write here c bar and b because it is multiplication okay then we have or in between them so or or so we have to write here this is one or and this is another or and we have to break it close okay then we have an operation and another bracket an operation and another bracket we have started here okay so here we have a plus d bar so we have to write a or d bar okay a or d bar okay so this is the second part second output and in the third output similarly we have to write this so we have to write like and within bracket we have to write a and d then we have to write or b bracket close then we have to again write or here and then again within bracket we have to write b and a bar okay so we have written here c and this is the n operation c and within bracket a and d whole or b okay and bracket close then we have to write again or and within bracket we have to write b and a bar okay and then semicolon and each line you have to terminate with semicolon and on the final line we have to write end module okay so this is the very log get level description of this boolean functions so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you